Hello, and welcome to the video for setting up and running a scan, for 2020 Minnesota 1040 returns containing the Form M1NC, in CCH Access Tax and CCH Access Data Scan. To begin, we'll need to set up some keywords we'll use when generating the scan, to do this, open any 2020 1040 return. Note that the changes being added will not affect the return being used. Within the return, click the Fed Government tab and scroll over to locate and open the Fed Link worksheet. If you are using the worksheet tree input method, you would select government forms and then scroll down to see the federal link worksheet. On this worksheet, we'll need to scroll down to the export and calculation information sections. First, click on export version, then go to manage on the menu bar and click define keywords. On the define keyword window, enter the keyword of FedLink hyphen export version, and then click OK. Next, we'll create the keyword for the date calculated field as well. For this field, enter the keyword of FedLink hyphen date calculated, and then click OK. Now that these keywords are defined, close out of the tax return, close the return manager, and then open the CCH access dashboard to continue with creating the scan. From the dashboard, click data scan under the tax category. Note that data scan will only show in this section if it is licensed, has been installed, and permissions have been set up to access data scan. Within data scan, click new. Here we can define the scan we want to complete. In name, enter a name that will show on the scan and report. In the available fields and forms section, we'll start by adding the keywords. With keywords, 2020, individual, and FD selected, click go. This will display a list of all the keywords available in alphabetical order. Scroll down and locate the two keywords we defined in the tax return. Select FedLink date calculated, and then click the Add to Criteria and Report button. Next, we'll do the same to add the FedLink export version. Note that, since there are two different criterias we want to search for, for the export version, we'll need to add it a second time. Next, we'll add to the scan the form M1NC. To do this, click the Source drop-down and select Government. Click the Tax Authority drop-down and select MN for Minnesota. And then click Go to refresh the results. Within the Minnesota forms, select M1 NC Federal Adjustments and then click Add to Criteria. Now that all the criteria has been added, we'll need to define each item. For date calculated, we want a date that is under February 28th. To do this, Select the operator column. Select less than. And enter a value of February 28th. Lastly for this row, select the connector option of AND. For the FedLink export version rows, place these two criteria in parentheses. And for the first export version, click the operator drop-down, and select the NP option for not present. This indicates that the return has not been exported. In the connector drop-down for this row, select the option of OR. And for the second export version, click the operator drop-down and select greater than or equal to and enter a value of 2020.02070 to indicate for all returns exported on that release version or greater. In the connector field for this row, select AND. For the M1NC row, use the operator drop-down and select P for present, indicating this form is present in the return. This completes the criteria for the scan. Next, additional keyword items can be added to the report. To do this, click the Source drop-down, select Keywords. Click the Tax Authority drop-down. Select FD for Federal, and then click Go. Here you can select any keyword you would like to show in the report. For this video, I'll add 1040 Preparer Name, and click Add to Report. I'll also add the taxpayers' first and last names. Once all the keywords you would like are added to this window, you can select rows and use the up and down arrows on the right to set the order each item will show in the report. Now that the criteria and the report layout have been defined, click Save and Close. Back on the Data Scan home screen, our newly created scan is displayed. With the scan selected, click Define Scope slash Submit. Under Filter Criteria, you can choose to scan all returns or, select to filter the returns that are scanned, 
based on region, office, return group, or signer. This option is recommended for large firms with many offices or a large number of returns. Under miscellaneous options, ensure the include password protected returns checkbox is selected. Note that, this option requires full access security group or specific permission. Lastly, click OK to submit the job. Now that the report has been submitted, an Excel icon displays under the reports column. If selected, a report window opens, displaying the status of the submitted report job, who the report was submitted by, and date information. If the status shows as completed, in the report column the Excel icon can be clicked to launch the report in Microsoft Excel. Here is a sample report. On the General Information tab, it lists the criteria selected in the scan. And on the Results tab, a list of returns that meet the criteria are displayed, showing columns based on the scan report layout we selected during the creation process. This concludes the video for setting up and running a scan for 2020 Minnesota 1040 returns containing the form M1NC in CCH Access Tax and CCH Access Data Scan.